everyone, it's me, it's James, I'm back. How are you? How are you doing? I'm well. I'm okay. It's uh, it's night time now. It's well, the light is not so great. I've got <laughs> all the different lights on. Um, it's been a couple of weeks again since I last uh, made a video. Uh, did a vlog. Um, and uh, yeah, it's been a couple of weeks, partly because I've been busy, partly because I wasn't sure what to cover really what to talk about but today today I saw something on Twitter which uh, really <laughs> really got my goat basically and so I think I think for me it sort of epitomized uh, where we're at now as a country or parts of our country parts of our society and where it's going quite quickly with the uh, the rich, uh, psychopathic morons that are in charge uh, politically and economically in our country. I include Labour in that. I'm not just talking about Conservatives, the Tories. I'm talking about Tories, Conservatives, big business, billionaire class, all this sort of stuff. They're all in charge, you know, they're all, they're all fighting for the same cause. Them. <laughs> they're fighting for themselves they're fighting for more money from your pockets so yeah the, the thing I saw today was uh, I think it was in the Times it was a story about uh, new students who were about to start at Durham University uh, apparently existing students um, were going to set up some competition in the loosest sense of the term, a, term, a competition to see how many uh, young women from poor backgrounds, poor students, uh, rich lads, um, could bag, basically, sleep with, you know, in the upcoming semester or the upcoming year. This was found out somehow by uh, the authorities at uh, Durham University. Didn't I didn't really get time to read it. I don't know what the consequences is going to be, or, or, or will or won't be for the people who were setting up this competition. But I think it, it, it's for me. It it, it 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 I thought well, this 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 epitomizes I think the mentality of people uh, or some people. And I've met them at university. You know, if you've watched these vlogs, you know that I've been to university. And, and I'm at university still. I'm about to start my second year of my PhD at university. Um, but I went to law school as well. Uh, about six years ago. Six, seven years ago. Um, and there are people like this. Unfortunately, in universities, you have uh, the sons and daughters of people who uh, have no idea, who view people like me, you, and our families and the children of our families and the young people in our families that are going to university as cattle, subhuman cattle, because, simply because, their mummy and daddy can't afford to give them a car on their birthday, or their mummy and daddy can't afford to set them up in their own flat or house when they reach 18, or their mummy and daddy can't afford uh, a holiday abroad two or three times a year. That's it. That's the distinction. That's the difference. They have money. The kids that are going to be, or were going to be, the young people, I should say, that were going to be the subject of this, this competition, didn't have as much money. That's it. Simply that's it. Now, I want to know what the difference in mentality there is. 20 years into the 21st century, in Great Britain, one of the richest countries, wealthiest countries the world's ever seen. No question there. That's a statistical, fa statistical fact. What the difference there in mentality with those young people that were going to do that, planning to do that, is between them and people who owned slaves 200 years ago or Roman rulers 2,000 years ago who treated poor people like cattle thought of the poor and their slaves as, as, as cattle 
didn't think about their feelings, that they were inhuman because they had less. You have less, therefore you're not the same as me. You're not a human being. You don't deserve the same uh, care, feelings that I do and my family do, who do have money. There's, there's, in, for me, there's no difference in mentality there. And as I say, here we are sitting in the United Kingdom in 2020. <laughs> uh, we like to call ourselves civilised. Some of us are. Clearly some of us aren't. This is happening in a mainstream... This isn't... Durham is not a red brick, as far as I know. It's not a red brick university. It is not part of the sort of Oxbridge elite universities. Yet uh, some of their students were planning to do this and thought it acceptable. I think that... I think that points to a... a, a a state of mind, uh, a state of acceptance for more people than we'd like to admit. And don't forget we're talking about young people here. So what sort of example are they getting or have they had growing up that they think this is acceptable to treat other human beings who have less materialistically than them in this way? That's what I think, that's what I've got to say. I'm afraid in my assessment of things, um, <clears throat> I worry that it's not going to get much better. Um, again, with that new story on its own, the fact that wasn't headline news <clears throat> in, um, in today's headlines, again, I think tells you what you need to know about our media and who's in charge of our media, whose voice or voices our media regurgitates and um, represents. It isn't the voices and views of the parents and children, young people I should say, that were going to be subjected to this competition. It's the voices of the people and parents of the students who were going, going to subject poor students to that abuse abuse peer abuse basically that's who runs the media that's whose views we see and hear every single day not yours not mine the views of the well-to-do the better off those who think themselves believe themselves better because they have more Usually because they started with more. Often the way they started with more. So, yes, I'm going to try and keep it under 10 minutes today. Uh, that was my little <laughs> uh, uh, piece for today. And um, I'm hoping to do a few more shorter pieces like this um, over the next week or so, if I can find time, rather than a sort of 40 minute rant. But please, like, comment and subscribe. Click the little hit, hit on the little bell for uh, notifications of my next uh, upcoming videos. And uh, yeah, see you next time. You take care. And don't let the grinder down.